Hello everybody and welcome! I'm Miss V or Miss Vanessa and I am so excited to be joining you here live on the Pre-K Pages Facebook page for our daily preschool at home sing-along. So while everyone is joining us, I want the adults that are watching to let us know in the comments below where in the world you're watching from in the name of your child or children that are watching along with you so that I can be sure to say hello to everyone that I can uh, while I'm here live. Yes, and so why am I doing this? Why is Miss V coming to you? There we go. Why is Miss V coming to you on, uh, there we go. On Facebook, why am I doing this? Well, during this special time, I thought it would be fun to uh, sing along with my friends that are at home all over the world. We've had viewers tune in from Australia, from all over the world, from Canada and Mexico, all everywhere, just everywhere. So we are so excited that you're joining us here today. And yes, uh, let's see who's in the house. <laughs> May, Mayte, is that how you say it? Let me know if that's the right. Hi there. Um, Aiden, Aiden, hi Aiden. Anthony is watching. Aiden and Avery from Indiana. Aiden's a popular name right now. Hannah out in California. Hello, Hannah. Sawyer's in the house. Hi, Sawyer, he's my neighbor. Allison and Samuel from Atlanta, Riley from North Carolina, Amelia out in Georgia, Emma, Aaron, and Eli from Louisiana. Hello, 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 friends. Ashmita from South Africa. See, I told you people from around the world. Brayden in Canada, welcome. Rabab from Saudi Arabia, welcome. Gia and Cole. Hi, Gia and Cole. Wonderful. Luke and Isla. You told me how to say it yesterday and I forgot. Luke and Isla. That's how I would say it. But if I'm wrong, let me know. Suzanne in Pasadena. Hello, hello. Mackenzie in Pennsylvania. Sarish from South Carolina. Yay. All right. Ava is in, watching in Pennsylvania. So let me say hello to a few of my friends I know that t tune in every day. And one of them is Drew. Hi, Drew in Michigan, along with Emily. Hi there. And then um, we also have Jack in the Waco area. Jack and his brother Wyatt are watching right? We also have Stella and Vera watching from the North Texas area. We have Emily, or I said Emily, Ava and Emma are watching in the Tex in North Texas area. And I want to show you what I have for you today. This is going to be a lot of fun and I think it's going to be something that you can sing over and over again at home with your family. Are you ready for me to turn the screen around? Tap the screen if you're ready for me to show you what I have for you today. Let's see if we can do it. Are you ready? Look. Can you see what that is? It's a little glary there. Maybe if I... Does anybody know what these things are called? In the United States, we call these things pennies. There are pennies. And there's, let's count how many pennies there are. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you count those with me? Use your fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Can everyone show me their five fingers? You've got your five fingers. Yes, so we've got five pennies, okay? Those are gonna be part of our song today. So if you sing this song at your house, make sure your adult is with you 
because we don't want anybody to put these things in their mouth. Pennies are money, but money is not clean, so it's not safe to ever put it in your mouth. It's yucky. Okay, so you want to hear my song? Oh, first we have to make the cookies. Oh my goodness, this song can't be sung without the cookies. So I have some brown paper here. And if you don't have brown paper at your house, that's totally okay. Don't worry about it. You choose whatever color paper that you have at your house. And then you can color it brown if you want. But I'm going to take a, a pen, a marker, a pencil, a crayon, whatever I have, and I'm tracing something round. I found this in my kitchen, and it's round, like a cookie. That's right, we're making cookies today. Are these real cookies or pretend cookies? Do you think you can really eat these? Nah, they're pretend. That's right, you're absolutely right. These cookies that we're making right here are pretend. So when we're done, what do you think we're going to do with these cookies when we're done tracing them? What do you think we're going to do? Let's see. Ah, yes, we're going to cut them out with our kid-friendly scissors. Let's see how many cookies I did. I used this thing from my kitchen to trace Look for something in your kitchen you can trace that's round like a cookie. One, two, three, four, five. That's five little cookies. So now I'm gonna take my scissors. Let me put this over here. I thought I might need two pages, but I don't. So I'm gonna put one over there. And let's see, while I cut, I'm going to look at, I'm going to try to look at some of the comments. Let's see, William is watching in Florida. Hello, William. Do you know what we're going to do with our cookies today? <laughs> let's see, Henry is watching all the way from Tacoma. Hello, Henry. We're making cookies. We just traced something from our kitchen on some brown paper. But that's okay if you don't have any brown paper at your house. You can just use white paper and then color it brown with your crayons, right? Or your markers. Wonderful. Yes. Hello, hello, everyone. Let me know if you haven't already where in the world you are watching from. I love to say hello to my friends from all over the world. Absolutely. I'm actually going to use some of my friends' names in this song that we're going to sing today. First, we have to make our cookies before we can sing our song. There's one cookie that's done. I'm going to put that one over here. And now I'm going to cut another cookie. What do you think we're going to do with these Five little cookies. What do you think we're going to do when we're done with cutting them out? Now, don't forget, these are kid-friendly scissors. And if you're not able to cut circles yet, that's okay. Your adult can help you. Ask them really nicely. If you have any kid-friendly scissors, ask them to let you use them. And adults, if you're going to have your little one use scissors you can use close supervision so we don't need any haircuts right now do we because <laughs> you know that's what always happens first that's not something we should do boys and girls that makes our adults sad right and we don't want to make our adults sad there we go but adults, it is something that every child does at one point in their life, so don't be surprised. And if you're too little to use scissors yet, then your adult can cut them out. And you can watch so that when you're old enough to use scissors, you'll know how it works. See how I'm holding it and I'm turning it as I'm going? Adults, this is a really complex skill for young kids to learn. So even if you have children who are four and they can't do this, that's okay. Because that just need, means they need more time and practice. Right? 
Right, friends? That's absolutely right. Here we go. I'm almost done. This is my last cookie. I wonder what we're going to do with these cookies. Who has a guess? Let me know in the comments if you can guess what we're going to do with these cookies. Let's see. Austin is watching from Australia. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> Jack cut his sister's hair last week. Oh, Jack. At least you got that out of the way. <laughs> it's all downhill from now. <laughs> okay, so let's count our cookies. One, two, three, four, and five. I've got five little cookies. Let's see. I didn't bring my crayons today, so you can decorate your cookies however you like. But I'm going to put some sprinkles on mine. All I've got... Oh, you know what? I do have a pen here. Hold on. I have a pen right here. I forgot about this one. I'm going to put some sprinkles on my cookies. Now, if you have some colored markers or crayons, you can put colored sprinkles. Whatever color you like on your cookies. Look how easy that is. So once I've cut out my cookies, and again, for those of you just tuning in, I just traced something around from my kitchen. Nothing fancy. And then I cut them out. And if you don't have brown paper, just use white paper and color it brown. That's right. <laughs> Amelia says you're going to write some friends' names on the cookies. Oh, it sounds like Amelia may have been to school before. Good for you, Amelia. <laughs> Braline says chocolate chips. Yes, absolutely. They could be chocolate chips. And then I have these five pennies. Remember we talked about that. We got five pennies, right? And now I've got... Ah, my cookies are sticking to my tray. I've got my favorite. Uh oh, I'm missing one. I'm supposed to have five. Let's see. Oh, I see it on the floor. Let me see if I can grab my fifth stick. It fell down. That's never good. Okay, I used it for my Wheels on the Bus song the other day. There we go. Now I have my five sticks. What do you think I'm going to do with my sticks? One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, if you've watched all of my lives that I've been doing so far, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my tape and I'm going to tape the sticks to the backs of my cookies because that just makes it easier to play the game. It's not absolutely necessary. If you don't have sticks, that's okay. You can play without. It just makes it easier for me to play the game with you on the screen when I do this. When I put the sticks on the back just like that. And your adult can help you with the, the tape, or you can use squeezy glue. Remember adults, we talked last week about how important squeezy glue is. You know, the liquid glue. It's so important for kids to have a chance to use that, even if it's a little messy, because it really helps develop that strength in their hands that they're going to need eventually to be able to write. Okay, here I go. One, two, whoops, sorry, three, four, and five. Five little cookies. Five little cookies. And we've got our five pennies. And I've also got some name cards. So whoever said we were going to do something with names, they were right. 
Yes, and it looks like I only have four of my five named cards here, so I'll have to pick somebody who's watching. Are you ready? Let's sing the song. So I've got my five cookies, and you're gonna hold up your five fingers. Can you do that? Can you hold up your five fingers? There we go. So it goes like this. Five little cookies in the bakery shop lightly sprinkled with sugar on top. Can you do that? Or you could say chocolate chips if you like. Sprinkle, lightly sprinkled with sugar on top. Along came, who's that? Andrew, along came Andrew with a penny to pay. He gobbled one up. Oh my goodness, eat your cookie. Gobbled it up, he gobbled it up and he went on his way. How many cookies are left? One, two, three, four. Four cookies are left. Let me see if I can move all this off the screen so it doesn't get confusing. There's four cookies. Can you show me four fingers? One, two, three, four. Four little cookies in the bakery shop, lightly sprinkled with sugar on top. Along came Stella with a penny to pay. What did she do? She gobbled one up. And she went on her way. Stella went away, and now how many cookies are left? One, two, three. Show me your three fingers. One, two, three. Three little cookies in the bakery shop, lightly sprinkled with sugar on top. Along came Emily with a penny to pay. She gobbled one up. And went on her way. <laughs> Do you like this song? Tap the screen if you like the song so far. How many of these are left? One, two. Show me two fingers. Two little cookies in the bakery shop, lightly sprinkled with sugar on top. Along came Sawyer with a penny to pay. He gobbled one up and went on his way. And now I have to pick a friend because I'm short. One name. It's going to be Mackenzie. Ready? One. Show me one. One little cookie in the bakery shop. Lightly sprinkled with sugar on top. Along came Mackenzie with the penny to pay. <gasps> she gobbled one up and went on her way. How many cookies are in the bakery shop now, friends? No little cookies in the bakery shop. They're all gone. Yum, yum. Rub your belly. <laughs> That is how we play the bakery shop game. So for the teachers that are watching, we got a lot of stuff here on the table today. Who would have thought? For the teachers who are watching, if you like these name cards, I put a link in the video description for you. They're really only useful if you're using them with a class parents because if you're if you're doing this at home with your children, you can just write their names for them on a piece of paper and draw a little picture to represent their first letter. But teachers, if you have a whole class, it's super helpful, and it even has a little picture cue. So Sawyer starts with S, and Sun starts with S. Emily starts with E, and Egg starts with E. Stella starts with S, and Star starts with S. And Andrew, starts with A, and Apple starts with A. 
So again, teachers, that's in the uh, video description for you if you're interested. If, if parents, you probably don't need it. It's really only good for um, classes of children. And then the finger play, Wait, am I showing you? Which screen am I showing you? Ha! There we go. There you are. Hello. Um, this the um, the rhyme I just did with you is a classic, classic children's rhyme or chant, whatever you want to call it. I've been doing it in my classroom since probably since I was a student teacher in 1991, and that's that's how long. And it's it was old then. <laughs> okay but it has a lot of educational value. Children are uh, practicing the rhythm, the rhyme, and the repetition of our language, and they're developing important oral language skills. They're important, uh, developing important self-regulation skills. And you saw math where they were touching and counting each one with the pennies and the cookies. Um, they're having fun. There's literacy opportunities with their names. Um, so, so, so many um opportunities rich learning opportunities these are the types of learning opportunities your children cannot get through a worksheet this this is fun playful interactive learning um, and then if you're interested in learning other rhymes like this rhymes that you may not have heard before but that pack a really hefty educational punch um, during this time when you have been gifted with extra time with your children. Um, all of us have received that gift. <laughs> I'm looking on the bright side here. And that is, uh, those things are also included in the uh, video description. So that'll be helpful to parents and teachers. All the finger plays. Finger plays is a term we use in early childhood education to describe things like five little monkeys, five green and speckled frogs, all these fun itsy bitsy spider, all these things where children can use their hands or movements to sing along and you don't necessarily need any type of audio recording to help you. So, uh, Nubia says this is the first time she's heard this chant. <laughs> oh, she's helping me with the pronunciation of her child's name. Maite, Maite. I hope I got it right. I'm a teacher. Yay! Livy, hello Livy. Oh, thank you for making Mackenzie's day. You're very welcome. <laughs> All right. All right, friends. I will check back and say hello to you all later. Um, right now, I would love for you, if you do this rhyme at home with your children, go ahead and put a picture of your child, or you don't have to show their face if you don't want to, in the comments below of them enjoying this activity. And I'd love to print those out and put them on the wall behind me um, each day when we do this. It just makes my teacher heart happy to know that children around the world are enjoying these rhymes. Until tomorrow, I'm Miss V or Miss Vanessa from pre-kpages.com, and I'll see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. Bye!